Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. The title of this video is Everything Matters All the Time. <clears throat> I get a lot of calls from people and they always say to me, does that matter? <laughs> does that matter? Does that matter? And I say the same thing, everything matters, okay? Because we're creating a checklist, right? So we have this, 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 this. If we don't do this, then we, we might not be able to add two points to our resolution. If we don't do that, we might miss three points to our resolution. So each one of these little things contributes a little benefit, and we build upon each one of those benefits. So, you know, I can't say, well, you can't do that, because everything in acoustics is stepped. This step, this step here is based upon what you did here. This step is based upon, it's like a slinky. Same thing, okay, only going up. So if a slinky could go up, boy, that'd be something, wouldn't it? Let's figure out something how to do that. It would have to have an anti-gravitational field around it. Too small to do that. So let's look at noise and treatment. I think if we walk through some steps that we go through with noise and treatment that you'll, you'll get a handle on it. So noise, we got to measure, measure, measure. The thing with noise, you don't want to spend $1 more than you have to with noise. You're never going to get it back. It's built in. It's a permanent construction. Let me repeat this. Permanent construction. There is no wall hanging panel that's going to stop noise. There's thousands of them on the net. Don't buy them. They don't work. Okay? They don't seal. If they don't seal, they leak. If they leak, they don't work. Okay? Seven days. We've got to have a whole week's picture of what's going on mostly in the neighborhood with the noise, because we can simulate whatever you're going to do in a room, whether it's a live room, a mix room, doesn't make it vocal room. I can simulate that. I even have data on male and female in certain sizes in vocal rooms. So we can simulate that. What, what are we after? We're after the maximum and the minimum pressure levels. That's what we want, because we want to know what day is the highest pressure. Two weeks of measurements are really even better. Because then, you know, we could have a bad week. So two weeks is really better. But the bottom line here is we're designing for the maximum pressure level that we're going to have during the week. And the only way we're going to know that is to measure quietest part of the day, loudest part of the day, and something in the middle. Three times a day if we can get it. Of course, we then design for the max and everything else falls into place. Our barriers are always multiple layers of material. People are like, well, what's, what, what's, what are the layer? Well... Tell me the frequency and amplitude of the problem. Because issues below 125 hertz in terms of barrier, stopping that kind of transmission, are much different than barriers above 125. So first off, we gotta know where the breakpoints are, what we're gonna have to do. This is vibrational acoustics. We're slowing down vibrations. Airborne energy strikes our surface, our wall, our shell, turns into vibrational acoustics. Let's go back to airborne energy with treatment. Two types, absorption and diffusion. I don't care what the names are on the internet. I don't care what these products are called. There's two types. There's hybrids. They work like hybrids, halfway here, halfway there. So you have to see, does it match your usage? Absorption, rate and level. How low can we get? How fast can we get it, right? Go low enough, get enough. That's what we gotta do. We gotta do it with low frequency absorption. And only diaphragmatic absorption has the horsepower to get enough. You can design boxes that are deep, that go low enough, but they don't get enough. You got to get a lot. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 100, 90, 100 percent at certain frequencies. Okay? Each wall to complicate issues has a different frequency and amplitude problem. Yay! So not only do we have six surfaces in the room, but they all exhibit different frequency and amplitude problems. This is why our CAW system, we put our carbon in the wall because then we can tune the room every 14 and a half inches, which is the distance between stud spaces. Nothing will get away from us then. With the ability to tune the room every 14 and a half inches, that's why we can, you know, guarantee the performance of our new builds. Because we're going after the problem every 14 and a half inches. The four walls and the ceiling and the floor if we have to, okay? We take this stuff very serious. We got to match the room to the usage pressure range. We don't want to put drums in a closet. That's the standard saying I always use, but I see it a lot. 
You want to match the pressure of the instrument that's playing, the source, with the volume of the room. And the frequency range, you know. Drums, full frequency range. Other things, not so much. So you might not need a bigger room if you're doing acoustic guitar. It's not going to be the, the great amplitudes the drum will be. It may not be full range, okay? Airborne energy versus vibrational acoustics. Two different disciplines. People confuse these all the time. One will not treat the other. You can't use sound absorption to stop noise. You can't use noise technology to absorb low frequency energy in your room. Okay? Everything matters all the time because each step builds on the previous step and you can't skip steps. You'll pay for it later. And if resolution is your goal, you don't want to compromise any step. Everything matters all the time. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.